I happened to visit Shaheen Bagh with a couple of friends about uh, two weeks ago and had a conversation with some of the people sitting there and was very struck by the fact that they were people who first of all were completely committed to non-violence. They were very clear that they were on no account going to be uh, in any way uh, resorting to violence. They were extremely dignified and they were very firm about what they wanted. It was a very simple, clear statement that they made, well articulated. And then suddenly you had all these speeches that took place last week and, and, and over this last week, uh, screaming for violence, screaming for shooting and killing people and so on. And I must confess that I was deeply disturbed by these speeches. And I would think I would like to make an appeal, not just for people, not only should I say, for people to be nonviolent, uh, for uh, in, in whichever kind of opinion they belong to. But I think it's also a, a, a time when citizens should appeal to the prime minister to make a statement on what is going on. Uh, and, and on this whole question of people making speeches, supporting violence, and people resorting to violence. This is certainly not the kind of situation in which uh, the top authorities can stay silent. They have to say something. And also one would like in this uh, statement on reflecting on what is going on, um, that something should be said about the possibility of a dialogue between those who are protesting and those who are urging that these new laws be implemented. After all, the people who are protesting are citizens. They are citizens of India, they are Indians, and therefore they have a right to say that we want a dialogue with those who are passing these laws. And it's equally important that those who are passing these laws should know what the opinion of people is and, and have some kind of dialogue with them.